Welcome back. Another source of information about OpenAI Chatbot will be to visit the website itself. And what you're going to want to do is to go to the area in your search bar and then go to openai.com. You're then going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see several aspects of the OpenAI company. And just as you would do an investigation on information about any other website or company, you're going to want to see what OpenAI says about itself. In particular, in the About Us section, as well as the OpenAI research. If you want to determine more that OpenAI says about itself, you want to visit the Publications section. The API in OpenChatBot allows you to integrate with the platform. You are going to want to pay attention to the pricing element. That means then that if you are willing to program an application, you can interact with the models within OpenAI to connect to the data and you'll need to pay attention to the pricing as of the recording of this video. You'll see pricing for image interaction. You'll also see pricing for language interaction. Before using the API, you are going to want to read the terms and policies of OpenAI. When you click this link, you're going to notice that it says chat GTP, but it's not going to take you back to the chatbot. What this is going to do is to take you to a specific page telling you more about the chatbot. And this is where you want to read about what OpenAI Chatbot actually does. And you're going to see examples as a recording of this video of what OpenAI Chatbot can do. You're also going to learn how OpenAI Chatbot works, how it improves itself, and how it actually uses machine learning, providing the information that it gives you when you do a query. You're going to want to pay specific attention to the limitations that the Chatbot says about itself. And we're going to stop the video here and we're going to pick it up in the next video to discuss the limitations. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.